good to see you here. It's nice and early on a Sunday morning for what uh, I hope, uh, I'm sure, will be an interesting topic uh, to discuss. And uh, we have purposely left time at the end of the session uh, to make sure we have free discussion with everybody involved. And we really do encourage you to take part in that. Um, this section does facilitate, allows the facility of uh, electronic voting. We'll only be using that in the discussion at the end, and instructions, if you haven't been in a room already to do that, will come up after the third main speaker of how we do that, so the explanation will be there then. Um, doing Good Not Harm is the title of this, an understanding audit and its role in reducing patient dose. Uh, and, and just to remind you of what we're trying to achieve today uh, in this short session is to highlight the case for improved radiation protection in diagnostic radiology and I'll just run over that because I think that's one of the focuses of this meeting in general and we want to uh, support that in this session. But we're very clear, cl clear that we want to make sure uh, and to as much as possible encourage you and facilitate the use of clinical audit and particularly localised clinical audit um, at department level. Um, and, and how we can identify clinical audit can, can be an effective tool in radiation dose reduction. And we're going to be look, hearing from three speakers. One will be talking predominantly about how to undertake clinical audit at the local level, and then two speakers who will give us experience from both the Netherlands and Finland on how that external audit could help in this process. And the discussion at the end will really be about your experiences uh, and the different values of external and internal audit in driving the quality agenda, particularly around radiation protection forward. And just to emphasize why we're focusing on radiation protection, uh, and I've just put a few bullet points up here, and I think uh, the major thing is that we quite often, uh, in, uh, and I'm sure you're aware of this, the evidence base for a lot of what we do in radiology is not that robust. And we need to be very clear that when we are irradiating patients, we are adding value to their diagnosis and their treatment. And we are not putting them at risk from increased radiation dose. And that balance is key in the work we do uh, in radiology. Um, and we also know from uh, the literature and from work you will see during two of the presentations, I'm sure, of the massive variation there is, not only between departments, but actually within departments, between equipment in the same department and actually between individual operators. And when there is that much variation, we obviously need to look at ourselves to how we can improve that. So... Uh, just to remind you, I think what the kind of things we can be doing and that audit could help us with is we need to avoid unnecessary scans. In other words, are we looking at guidelines correctly um, or are we using guidelines and are we justifying uh, all requests, particularly for radiation-involved uh, diagnostic imaging? And when we actually then do a test, are we minimising the dose appropriately um, and using dose optimization? Uh, and the ALARA principle. And then finally, for the point of this section, do we know where we are in terms of radiation protection and, and do we know how we could move forward? And that's why I think clinic audit will help us. So I was that, that was the warm-up act, really. Um, and now I'm going to introduce the first speaker uh, who will be talking about the experience of internal audit in the UK and I'd like to introduce one of my colleagues from the UK, Sue Barter from Cambridge, uh, to talk on that. Sue.